You're looking at a conventional wheelchair in use on a typical street. But not quite so conventional as it may first appear. This wheelchair is specially adapted and it's the first of a new generation. Underneath the chair there's something very new, a wheelchair drive unit. And it's designed to provide electrically powered pushing assistance for most common domestic types of wheelchairs that are propelled along by an attendant, both folding and rigid chairs. The Wheelchair Drive Unit, or WDU for short, is newly launched in the UK in spring 2002 and shortly on world markets. It costs £299 in the UK, around a tenth of the cost of a conventional powered wheelchair. The WDU is the latest brainchild of Sir Clive Sinclair for many Britain's most famous inventor and his research team at Sinclair Research. Sir Clive will be remembered for such world firsts as the pocket calculator, pocket television and perhaps most famously in the early 1980s, the first home personal computers such as the Sinclair ZX81 and Sinclair ZX Spectrum. More recently, Sir Clive has focused much of his design and development work in the electric propulsion field. Key products in the last few years include the Zyke, an electric bicycle, and Zeta, a special unit to convert any conventional bicycle to a power-assisted one. Now, Sir Clive has applied this technology to the special needs of wheelchair users. According to our research, there are about 400,000 UK users of wheelchairs, conventional non-powered wheelchairs. Most of these are used in a domestic environment. Most of these depend on attendants to propel them and many of these attendants are themselves elderly or perhaps infirm. The design goal of the wheelchair drive unit was to help these attendants not to replace them. The most important role for the WDU is to provide climbing support on ramps, hills or inclines. Imagine a tough 1 in 8 hill and a 13 stone user sitting in the chair. The WDU will provide the attendant with 100% of the power needed to climb that hill at a steady 1.7 miles per hour. And on a really tough 1 in 4 ramp, the WDU will provide the attendant with 50% of the power needed at the same steady speed. In a typical pattern of use, this new pushing assistant will run for around 60 minutes or four miles, extendable with spare batteries. The whole assembly, including battery, weighs less than 10 pounds or four and a half kilograms. The key innovation lies in the design of the unit's geometry. The Sinclair WDU employs an ultra-efficient rare earth direct current motor. Power is transferred via a reduction gearbox to the special polyurethane drive wheel. This is lifted and lowered by a strap controlled by the attendant. Pivoted from the wheelchair frame, it presses to the ground when driven forward. It's a case of the harder the drive, the harder the grip. And this provides high efficiency since it maintains the optimum pressure between wheel and ground. But it's not an excuse for a new class of wheelchair racing. Sir Clive and his team stress that the maximum speed is limited to just 2.1 miles per hour. And the maximum climbing power is delivered at just 1.7 miles per hour. It's all about assisting the attendant at the right time, in the right place, and at the right speed. So, how does it work? The attendant turns the trigger, fitted to the left handle, to the on position. Then lowers the drive wheel to the ground by using the lifter on the strap attached to the right handle. Now, the attendant presses down on the trigger and simultaneously starts pushing. The Sinclair WDU begins to assist almost immediately. Conversely, if the attendant releases the trigger, power cuts immediately, and bumping up a curb or step, the WDU is raised using the lifting strap. And if the WDU isn't needed for a time, then it's simply parked by placing the trigger in safe mode. Or folded away, most typical folding chairs will still fold away, even with the unit installed. So, just how easy is the new Sinclair WDU to fit and maintain? The unit attaches to the vertical frame of the chair. This needs to be clear of any obstructions. The telescopic arms are fully extended, ready for fitment. The clamps are snapped onto the frame. 
If the tube is of narrow diameter, then you insert the supplied black spaces to fill up the space. Now you tighten the clamps, but not completely. They slide on each side of the frame until both are aligned around 25 centimeters, say 10 inches, from the ground. Then the clamps are tightened completely and secured. The correct alignment of the drive wheel is crucial. This is simple but very important. Line up the drive wheel so that it is equidistant from the two wheels and with the groove in the side of the case, vertical. When it's positioned correctly, tighten up the two arm clamps securely. Prior to adjusting the strap length, help the user into the chair and then adjust the drive wheel so that it is one quarter of an inch off the ground. If you do this earlier, the user's weight will lower it back down. And finally, snap the switch onto the handlebar. The Sinclair WDU assisted chair is almost ready to go. It just remains to attach the battery, which hangs entirely clear of both wheels and frame. The Sinclair team estimates that a typical first installation should take 10 to 20 minutes, and only a moment or two when transferring between chairs. A revolution is coming to Britain's streets. Next time a wheelchair passes you by, take a closer look. It may be one of the very first of the new generation with electrically powered pushing assistance. With the new Sinclair WDU, designed and developed by Sir Clive Sinclair and the Sinclair Research Team. It's available now from Sinclair Research at just £299 in the UK.